Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back and welcome to the first video of this little kosha series called Journey Through Koshas. And since this is the very first flow of the series, the emphasis here is on grounding, reconnecting and really tuning into ourselves and getting started on this beautiful journey through koshas. Maybe you are now wondering, what the hell are koshas? <laughs> so koshas are our layers. While what we are composed of might seem quite obvious, we know that we are composed of skin, muscles, bones. But the truth is that that is just one layer that forms our body. Our body consists of five layers in total called koshas. The first body, the first layer that we can see, that is the skin, the flesh, the soft tissue, the fascia, bones. That is called anamaya kosha and it relates to the physical. To the layer that we have to feed, that we have to nourish, that we have to take good care of. It's our shell, our home that protects us. But it is not all. It is not all we are. We are more than that. We are more than our physical form. If we peel that layer back, we will get to pranayama kosha. Our energetic body, our energetic layer consisting of breath. So we've already talked about pranayama, breath work regulation of breath. Uh, if that's something that interests you, pause this video for a moment or maybe get to the pranayama practice after this video. Uh, there are two pranayama practices on this channel. Uh, I released them quite recently, so have a look uh, and learn perhaps a bit more about prana, pranayama. But our pranamaya kosha consists of breath, of our vital energy. If we keep peeling those layers, uh, we will get to Manumaya Kosha. Manumaya Kosha is our mind, our emotions. And this Kosha uh, really relates to our thoughts. It is our thinking body, our thinking layer. If we keep going deeper, we will be taken to Vijnanamaya Kosha and Vijnanamaya Kosha is our intellect, our inner wisdom, our intuition. It is often referred to as the mind beyond the mind. So it is our true wisdom, that inner knowing that tells us what to do, but we often push it back and focus on our rational mind, our Manumaya Kosha, our thoughts based on our current experiences on the planet Earth. And the final, most inner kosha is called Anandamaya Kosha. It is also uh, referred to as blissful body. So we could say that it's what we refer to as our soul. That blissful body that it's actually pretty hard to grasp. But just imagine you are doing something that truly fulfills you. You are in that moment, you forget about the time, you forget about your basic needs, you forget about everything. And you just are. And you experience pure bliss. That's when you really reconnect with your Ananda Maya Kosha, with your most inner layer. And it is very important to keep all of those five layers balanced. If our outer layers will not be functioning well, it will affect our inner layers as well and vice versa. So while I said that our outer layer doesn't define us, we still need to make sure that we nourish it and we'll gi we give it our best care and attention in order to keep the more inner layers well and balanced and thriving. So, Close your eyes. 
Make sure you are in a comfortable seated position. Maybe lay down on your back. Just feel the ground beneath you. Mm. Feel your spine lengthening. Crown of your head is reaching up. You're growing tall. You are expanding with each inhale and sinking deeper into yourself with each exhale. As your breath travels down, try to imagine that it has to pass through all the five layers. And then as it travels back out, imagine it making its way back from the most inner layer to the outer one. If you are not seated already, make your way into your seated position, preferably, preferably sitting down on your knees. If you are sat on the bolster, just like me, remove it. Place your left hand down next to you, sweep your right arm up to the sky, exhale, bend towards the left, stretching the right side of your body. Your right fingertips are reaching high up to the sky. Try to pull that left shoulder away from your ear. <laughs> Turning your chest up. Gaze goes through your right armpit. On the next, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, stretch to the other side. So placing your right hand down next to you, stretching the left arm, <laughs> keeping your sitting bones grounded to the earth, to your heels. And inhale, come back to center. And the next inhale, sweep both your arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms, oh, shining the heart forwards. On the next inhale, start rounding your back, extending your arms in front of you. Interlace your fingers, push your hands away from you. Palms of your hands are reaching forwards. The back is round. <sighs> Inhale, cactus. Let a heart lift here. And exhale around. Inhale, cactus. Exhale around. Inhale, cactus. And exhale, release your hands by your sides. Very good. Um, find your way to a wide leg child's pose. Mm, so knees are wide apart. Shifting your sitting bones towards your heels, extending your arms in front of you. Placing your forehead down if that feels good. And wiggle your hips from side to side. Breathing into your hip space. Remember that your hip space is the place where most of your emotions are trapped. Hmm. 
So we want to breathe into that space, to release them, to give them that permission to come to the surface. And once they reach the surface, welcome them with compassion. Make them feel at home. Because the more resistant you become, the more persistent your emotions will be, and the harder, and the harder it will be to actually become friends. If you welcome your emotions, you will no longer have to see them as that unwelcomed guest. Beautiful. On the next inhale, lift your torso up, bring your knees together. Ah, very good. And melt your heart down to the ground, forehead down. Again, for a child's pose, this time narrow legged, keeping your arms by your sides. Again, shifting yourself from side to side. On the next inhale, lift your chest up to the sky, place your fingertips in front of you, lean forwards a little bit, tuck your toes under and come to a squat or better said a little toe balance. So you're holding yourself strong, lifted, just on your toes. Engage your core, crown of your head reaches up. <laughs> Try to find the balance and the playfulness that is inside of you. Just step into it. And see if you can lift yourself all the way up to standing, staying high up on your tiptoes, reaching the arms up to the sky. And very good, release down, ah, mountain pose. Step your feet, hip fifth distance apart. And on your next inhale, bring your right knee towards your chest. Bringing it towards your chest, using your arms to help you. Inhale. And exhale, open that right arm and right knee to the side. Holding it there, your right leg forms a right angle. Amazing. Mm, bring the knee back to the center. Bring it even closer towards your chest. And on the next inhale, right foot will step forward to a high lunge. Very good. Mm, sinking deep into your pose. <sighs> right leg is bent. Left leg is extended and strong behind you. Glutes are engaged. Core is active here as well. Inhale. Inhale. And exhale, twist towards the right. You're opening your arms to a T-shape. Only your torso is twisting. Hips are still squared. Inhale, exhale, place your right hand down on your thigh. Oh, and little reverse revolved high lunge. 
your left fingertips are reaching behind you. The next inhale, come back to that high lunge. Exhale, lower your torso down. Place your left arm down next to your leg and reach your right arm up to the sky on the next inhale. Easy twist. Hmm. Inhale, exhale, place your right arm down and step it all the way back to a downward facing dog. Walk your downward facing dog gently, find some movement here, pushing yourself away from the ground. And on the next inhale, walk yourself back towards your feet and come all the way back up to standing the back of your mat. This time ground down through your right foot, lift your left knee towards the chest. Inhale and exhale, open your left arm, open your left hip, left leg. Your right left leg forms a 90 degree angle here. Staying strong and balanced. Remember that the way you balance in your yoga practice reflects the way you are balanced in your everyday life. It doesn't reflect your flexibility, your physique. It reflects just your mind and your attitude towards what's happening in your life right now. And bring the knee back to your chest, hug it in, hug it in closer to you. And on the next inhale, left foot steps forward, <sighs> lightly to a high lunge. Very good, staying strong here. Mm, inhale and exhale, rotate your torso towards the left, inhale, exhale, revolve the reverse high lunge, right fingertips are reaching behind you, staying strong in the lunge. On the next inhale, come back to high lunge. Exhale, lower your torso down towards your thigh and place your right hand down on the mat, reaching your left arm up to the sky. Mm, easy twist. Inhale, exhale, plant that left hand down and step to a downward facing dog. On the next inhale, shift yourself all the way to a high plank, place your knees down to the ground and lower yourself all the way down, slowly, slowly, slowly lift control onto your belly. Ah, release your forehead down to the ground. Just wiggle your hips from one side to the other. <clears throat> Beautiful. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Start lifting your chest up for a little baby cobra. <clears throat> and if you want to take this further, Start lifting yourself higher and higher. Walk your hands a little bit closer towards the edge 
off the mat. So you can create more space here. Engage your glutes. Push the tops of your feet into the mat. Try to draw your shoulder blades down. And rolling the shoulders back gently. And truly opening through the heart space here, shining the heart forward. Don't letting the spine collapse here. So your abs, your abdomens are working here too. And don't forget to breathe. Your breath is your anchor. Whenever you feel a bit lost, whenever you feel like you're losing balance, both on the mat and in your everyday life, Come back to your breath. <sighs> Whenever you feel like you need a bit more strength to power through life, come back to your breath again. Big inhale and exhale, release yourself again down to the mat, ah, melting into the ground, feeling that connection, that weight of your body being held, being supported. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and gently, slowly and with control, push yourself back to a child's pose. I will leave it up to you. You can go either for a narrow, narrow leg child's pose or wide leg. Placing the hands by your sides. Start noticing your breath again, making its way through all of your layers. Through your whole body. Slowly start peeling your torso up to seat it. <sighs> Sitting down on your heels. Place both of your hands on top of one another and at your heart space. Feel the beat of your heart. Feel the presence of your breath. Feel the presence of your emotions. Feel the presence of your inner knowing, your intuition. And the presence of the blissful body, the drive. That inner God inside of you. All covered by your physical layer, your skin, your bones, your muscles. Let's take one big inhale through nose and exhale through mouth. (sighs) 
<sighs> Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to the whole topic of cautious. Tomorrow we will start exploring our outer sheath, our outer layer, Anamaya Kosha. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order not to miss it. Uh, and let me know how you enjoyed this. I'm really excited to hear about your experience and if there are any emotions coming up, any realizations, let me know. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Lots of love.